valves. Remember I told you guys you guys need some dump valves? So this is how they have their dump valves. Let's go down in here and see what they have. Oh, they have their tank down here. You guys see that? So my tanks are inside my food truck. These people have their tanks down here. The reason I don't like it, well, you know what? They don't move their trucks or their trailers, so I guess it doesn't matter. You guys can see. I'm trying to get up in here. There's nobody in this trailer, so I can do it. But um, they got it from Class A Customs. I know that for a fact. But they have it under the trailer. I don't like it down here because it'll freeze or it can fall or something. And it's so heavy. Water's so heavy. But that's how they have their dump valves down here, which is pretty interesting how you guys can see the different setups. This is how they have their water tanks on this little trailer that I showed you guys right now. This one, this guy right here, Ruby's Bagels. That's how they have their dump valve. Just wanna make sure I show you the other option that you have on putting your uh, tanks at the bottom. So out here in the city of Milwaukee, if you guys can see right behind me, I was driving by and I saw this place called, it's called Socalo Food Truck Park. So, it gave me the intrigue to go check it out. I'm gonna walk over there right now and see what kind of food truck food they have. So join me as I walk in the great city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and we're gonna see what they have here at this food truck park, because you don't see these in Chicago often, but I guess they have it over here. There's a lot of food trucks over here, actually, by the, um, this this old bowling alley, something the house, Holler House, Holler House, they had a bunch of food trucks there as well, food trailers, but this is something that I was intrigued. I stopped, I turned around and came back, so let's go check it out. So here we go. Let's uh, take first glances, first peeks. You guys are going to see the menu as I see the menu. There is no hidden agenda here. I do not know what to expect. There's this food trailer right here. The little chief, whatever. What do they got here? All right, so this one got pizza, sliced melange, cheese, pepperoni, sausage, vegetable, a case of the munchies. All right, so we got this right here. We got breakfast burritos. Ooh, they're competing with me. Mazorca tacos. They got campiona. Mazorca chorizo, hash browns, egg, Monterey cheese, Adelita. Breakfast served Tuesday to Sunday, 11 to 2 p.m. So we got this one here. Look at these with these lights. Um, that is pretty interesting. They got some tacos here. Tacos al pastor, bistec, birria, pollo, vegetarian. They have light here, you guys can see. So they're using a Hallmark Transport brand trailer. That's what they have. This one over here has a porch and obviously it has a serving window. This one's a little bit more different. It doesn't have one like we do. They actually use a window from a Home Depot store, like a Lowe's, so you guys can see that. So they don't have a screen in the front, but they do have that little door that goes up and down. Then they got the door right here. Um, you just wanna see so you guys can see the setup of how they look. You guys can see the differences in many, many food trucks. I'm actually gonna order something from some trailer. I don't know which one yet. This one has what they call a mini split. It is called the mini split, and it's used for AC purposes. You guys can use it. Let me see how much power it sucks in. That way you guys can actually see. All right, so here it is. Um, it uses 30 amps of power. Max fuse breaker, 30 amps of power. And it's a 115 breaker. So you guys can kind of get an idea of what to expect on different mini splits. Again, this is a mini split. Uh, we've installed these in many of the Domino's locations, like the power to it. But that gives you AC uh, when you need it inside a food truck or inside a restaurant. But as you can see, it takes up a lot of power. Over here, what do we got? We got some uh, anytime arepas. So they got arepas, they got Venezuelan empanadas chicken domino black beans cheese ground beef pabellon mini empanadas two beef two chicken two cheese that's interesting venezuela in there oh here we go venezuelan arepas so you got choose your arepa chicken arepa pork arepa veggie arepa it actually is a big trailer you guys can see the height size in case you guys are building it is where you guys can really see the difference so we have this one that's a little bit on the shorter side and then this one is probably a foot taller than that one. So there's a Hallmark Transport one right there. And then this one, it has a bigger serving window and uh, it has a higher height. And then you can see how they did their lights here. So you guys can get an idea of just how I built mine. And then you guys can kind of get an idea of this. So they ran it with EMT down to the main disconnect right there with the power. And then they ran it up right there and then they used flex to go inside. But that's kind of how they have their setup. Again, this is just a show and tell. You guys, you can see how they have these trucks built. Oh, they actually have these, look, they're color changing LED lights. So that's what they have there. Oh, I've seen these on Amazon. 
So they have these on Amazon where they're color changing LED lights right up top right there. But there it is, look, take a selfie. At least they have great marketing where you can take a selfie here in front of their food truck. Skip the winter weather, order online. But there's this one. Again, they use the Home Depot window. You can tell right away, this is something that you would have in your house. I don't know if you guys can see that window. It's nothing like the ones that I tell you guys from JR Aluminum. Nothing even close to the quality of JR Aluminum. It's just a vinyl window. It has no screens, so I'm assuming in Milwaukee, they do not require screens for the serving windows. Someone's gonna pass right here. Oh. So then there's that part right there. They have the serving shelf. And then over here we got this one. Oh, this one's super tiny. As you can see, they probably don't move here, but they do have, look at that, they have a food truck park, so you can park, you can eat here with benches. Over here, they got uh, the propane tanks just sitting right there on the side. So you guys can see how it feeds off right there. Very different setup than how I show you guys on my food truck. These are probably just stationary. They probably never move from where they're at, but uh, this is what they have here. And this is kind of, they probably tried it at one point to have it. You guys can see the, the trailer tray, the propane trailer tray that I use on mine that I show you guys from Amazon. And look at that, they have some power right over here to do. Again, this is in the city of Milwaukee. And um, they have these food truck parks, which is pretty cool. Over here we got some sushi. I don't know how I feel about sushi from a food truck personally. That's just my opinion. I wouldn't buy sushi from a food truck. And I would literally buy and I support everything, but I don't know, sushi is kind of finicky. Finicky, ooh, scratch ice cream. That actually looks pretty cool. Look at this guy right here, scratch ice cream. Nice, nice, nice. What do you got over here? Roasted corn churros. Oh my gosh, they got churros. I might have to try those guys out. They got a churro over here for three bucks. So this is actually how I tell you guys I want to switch my food truck to, to churros and they have it right over here. I might actually buy it just so I can taste it. We have Mexican street corn for six bucks. We have churros for three bucks and mixed fruit. So uh, that actually might be something that I do try right now. Maybe the only thing that I try. So this one's in little truck because look how tiny it is. Again, they have windows from Home Depot and look, they must not really check too much of the quality of the build because they have wood around here and then it's all weathering off it's coming off right there so there's a lot of different things that go there and they got over here this one's not open it's called ruby's bagels again you guys can see this difference in how i've shown you guys how i build my food trucks look this one's out of wood that would never fly in illinois ever they would never allow wood as a serving table or tray and they got wood around here so that tells me that they have, oh, see, they have a vinyl window again, just how I show you guys not to do because I believe that you guys should spend just a little bit more money to be able to buy a nice quality window, especially from, like I say, from JR Aluminum. Again, I'm just kind of showing you guys this, just so you guys can kind of see difference in quality. See how they have the wire just kind of in there, not really secured to anything. But hopefully that helps you out when you are going into different areas, you guys can stop by and see different food trucks. It gives you an idea of how you can change your menu, how you can build your food truck. I believe that the way that I show you guys how to build my food truck, like I did rolling burritos, is the easiest way, the best way, the cheapest way, and it looks real nice. The quality of it, um, I believe, is superior in aspects of how I've seen other food trucks built. So hopefully it helps you out on the step-by-step -step tutorial on how I show you how to build food trucks from scratch. Again, this is a food truck park that I ran into in the great city of Milwaukee, Illinois. And I just figured I'd stop by and the only thing I might get from here is a churro, a $3 churro because I can actually kind of taste test it and use it for my comparison. I'm gonna do uh, not rolling burritos anymore, but uh, rolling churros, I don't know, churros for you. I really don't have a name in mind yet, but it's something that we're working on. So again, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. If you have any comments on how I can help you build your food truck or how I can improve some of the videos that you guys have, especially in the electrical. I know you guys have a lot of questions on the electrical. That's a question that I get quite a bit. So I'm gonna do a Q&A on that uh, next week, showing you my electrical, my electrical panel, and how I have it. And then you guys can just see it for yourself. And hopefully that answers a lot of your questions on the grounds, the neutrals, the power, 120, 240, all that fun stuff. Again, I'm Frank Valtieres on the DIY series, how to build your food truck. So here's our churro. 
um, strawberry filled. I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion about this churro. One, it's cold. Two, they do not make their own dough. But ultimately, I wanted to try it out. But what I don't like is that they didn't. It's not cold. It's, it's not hot. It's cold. <laughs> I want a hot churro. 